Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors. And today I'm gonna to show you how to eliminate salmon skinning on your prints that you get off of your Creality Ender, uh, Ender 3s, Ender 5s, CR20s, CR10s. Now, not all printers suffer from this. Um, what it will look like is either a series of diagonal lines running through your print on the outer surface skin, or uh, something, these curved lines that resemble salmon skinning, and that's where the name comes from. So if you're seeing this, it's a really easy fix. You just need a pack of TL smoothers. I'm gonna link them in the description of this video. And some double-sided, um, you can use double-sided foam tape. I like using double-sided thermal tape. Uh, link for that is also in the description. And it's gonna take you about 10 minutes to install. So it's a really easy fix for this. What the smoothers do is, in the case of on micro-stepping on your printer, you can get small spikes uh, where the voltage is split between two full step coils. And what this is doing is just filtering those small spikes out. It makes your print look cleaner. And as I said, it's a very cheap, uh, easy way. It doesn't take long to just improve the general overall quality of your prints if you are experiencing this. So let's get started. All right, to get started, you need to remove the access panel for your electronics board. Um, in the case of the Ender 3 Pro or Ender 5, it's on the bottom of the unit. On the standard Ender 3, it's on the top of the electronics box. Just remove the four screws, uh, or three screws in the case of the Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro. Be careful when pulling this off. Your cooling fan is attached to the back side of the plate. If you yank the plate off, you will pull that wiring out. So you want to be careful about this. Uh, just unplug the wire from the main board. Uh, it's just a small white plug. Just pull it straight out and it'll plug straight back in when you're done. And then just set your cover aside for when you're completed installing the smoothers. Now, uh, the smoothers, uh, the wiring can go in either direction. It does not matter which side you plug it into. You're also going to need some uh, thermal adhesive tape, double-sided. I'll have links for both in the video description. Now, when you cut the tape, and this first one I didn't really do long enough, but you're going to want to be able to fold it over three or four times. So cut it about three to four times longer than what the smoother board is. And you want to be sure to cover up the solder pins on the back of the smoother. You don't want these exposed because you don't want them contacting metal and shorting. Um, so just flip the tape over a few times. You want to give it some thickness so that the uh, pins that are protruding don't keep the tape from adhering. And I've already got the cable that came with the TL smoother attached. I'm just going to detach the extruder motor wire now. We're going to hook these to the extruder and the X and the Y motors. So just detach each of these, unplug the cables for each of these motors, plug it into the smoother, and then just stick the smoother to the, inter uh, the interior of the housing as close as you can to the plug for the appropriate motor. So in this case, I just did uh, the extruder, and now through the magic of computer technology, I'm gonna speed this up and do the X and Y motors. Um, and again, here's a uh, good size for the tape, about four times longer, so you can just flip it around, fold it over on itself a few times. And again, just put them in place close to the plug that you're going to actually use, that way the wires aren't stretched. Um, but again, we're doing the X, Y, and the extruder motor. Um, you really don't need these on the Z motor. You can put it on. It's not going to hurt anything if you do, but uh, since the packs come in threes, um, putting it on the extruder motor will actually do some good. Now, uh, once that's done, uh, you want to replug your cooling fan back into the board before you put that cover back on the unit. Uh, just push it straight in. Make sure uh, it's in all the way. You don't want this coming loose uh, when the machine is running and vibrating. Uh, you do need this fan running because it will bring in cool air across those smoothers and everything else on the board that needs cooling. Um, there's heat sinks on top of the MOSFETs and stuff, and those have to be kept cool. So that's it. That's all you have to do to install TL smoothers on your Ender 3 or Ender th uh, 5 or Ender 3 Pro. Uh, same thing goes for like a CR10 or CR20. Um, and that's pretty much it. So thank you for checking this out. Please click that subscribe button in your bottom right hand corner.